And welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today, Monday the 12th of June 2023. For those of you on the East Coast enjoying the public holiday, we hope it's a good one. And of course, the rest of the world is open, even if the ASX is shut. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, we had a positive session to close the week on Wall Street, seeing small gains across all of the major indices. Perhaps a little bit of end of week caution after another good week. Or maybe the eyes are already on this week's data with the CPI data coming out of the US on Tuesday and the Federal Reserve interest rate decision on Wednesday. US futures are mildly higher in the Asian session and Asian session is showing a mixed market response to Friday. Uh, we're seeing the Nikkei outperform. The Chinese indice is not doing so well today. The ASX, as you've already said, is closed. European futures are pointing to a mildly positive open this afternoon. And the VIX has bounced a little off those lows that it hit last week, possibly in response to the impending data. The US dollar index edged back over the 200 EMA after hitting two-week lows on Thursday. And as a result of that, we saw gold pull back from the top of its short-term range. It's a little weak again in Asia today. Likewise with copper and oil has pulled back again, but it's still range-bound. It wouldn't be surprised us to see it test those lows that we hit a few weeks ago. Bitcoin gap down in early trading today. It may test the 200 EMA. Uh, we'll wait and see. It doesn't look as though there's a massive sell-off, but nevertheless down in Asia so far. In terms of data today, we've got Japanese PPI, which is softer than expected. And we've got the US budget statement later. That's it really of any note. But of course, as we've already said, that data out tomorrow and the FOMC decision on Wednesday are going to be critical in terms of sentiment going forward for the next few weeks. We've also got Eurozone and Japanese rate decisions due later this week to add to the mix. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today so far. We'll start by looking at the Aussie Yen on the daily chart. You can see there we pushed hard against 94 cents. Looks like a really important level. You can go back here to November 2022 when it was also resistance and it back even further, uh, you can see lots of price action around this 94 level. If we just pop it on an hourly chart, you can see it looks as though we've been range bound for the back end of Friday's session and into today. Uh, but without a doubt, that's a level of significance. Uh, if we break higher from here, wouldn't surprise us to see 50 or 60 pips added to where it's trading right now. But it's worthwhile being patient to do so and may well even come back and test the bottom end of this really short-term trading range it's in at the moment of around about 20 pips. With the ASX shut, we're going to spread our wings and go to the uh, NYSE and see what we can find there. Uh, there's a couple of stocks that are flying. Obviously, big tech is doing really well. We'll have a look at Netflix, which obviously trades on the NASDAQ. And you can see there, we had a brief pause here at around about 400, as you would expect, uh, being a key psychological level. Uh, but we had a very strong move up $20 on Friday's session. In terms of context, let's just pop this on a weekly chart. And you can see here the significance of this break of 400, which it traded around at the beginning of last year. And now we look as though we may be setting up to move back up towards this 475 level, which was uh, a support level from July 2020 right through to June 2021. So a 12-month support level there suggests this is a really strong level. Uh, so we could see this move up towards 475 over the course of the next few days. So I want to keep an eye on it without a doubt. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.